have been waiting for you. Welcome, Chosen One. We are so very happy to meet you at last. I am Cupernicus, the goddess of light. I'm Thelema, goddess of shadows. We have brought you here because we have a matter of grave urgency we need your help with. You received and accepted an invitation to Sub Rosa, exactly where we need you. For you see, without your help, there are five girls that are doomed to perish! Yes! I knew you were the one for this quest! I gotta say, I like the way they're looking at us. I think maybe you were right, Cupernicus. Here is the task. Each of the five girls you must save are living in Sabrosa. And each of them are concealing secrets that will prove fatal if not brought to light. They could be hiding them from their families, their friends, or even themselves. Secrets are funny like that. You must find each of these five destined girls. You must gain their trust and friendship, and maybe even their hearts, so that they will open to you. Only once you know their secrets can you hope to save them. If they don't trust you, they won't tell you. Do whatever you can to gain their trust, admiration, affection, lust, whatever works. Uh, yes, quite right. Spoiler warning, all the girls are mega hot. So yeah, get excited. And while you are working to rescue them, you may be presented with situations that require difficult choices. I implore you to follow your heart and stay in the path of the light at nearly any cost. But of course, not the cost of their lives. If you have to lie, cheat, steal, or inflict a little violence, that's just the way it is. But your quest can be done with the hero's way. Sure, but if you get stuck between a rock and a hard place, well, who's judging you? We're judging them! Yes, but only to prove something to each other. Whatever their choices are, the lives of the five destined are your only concern. But try to be heroic. Or not. Do you understand all we have said? Do you accept your quest? What do you say? Yay or nay? <laughs> I'm deeply pleased at your zeal. Mm, I'm not really one for enthusiasm, but... Okay, sure. Yay. Travel to Sabrosa, find the destined five girls, and discover the secrets which are imperiling their lives. And, spoiler warning, if you pull off this quest, we have a special reward for you. <laughs> Please don't let us down. Thelema, I'm not sure if this was necessary. They seemed perfectly motivated. Shh, you're cute when you're being all prophetic and quest-giving. 
Nina. You'll need to figure out the best way to interact with them. In every conversation, you'll be given different options on what to say or do. If you pick a good option, you'll be awarded heart points. This is a great sign that you're making progress. Some options, however, will be locked behind requirements. Sometimes this means you need better stats or more money in order to choose them. One cool thing, though, is that if you use a stat to pick an option, that skill will go up. Every day, you'll be given two chances to work on your stats or earn money at a job. This happens at dawn and dusk. Also, pay attention here, your stats and jobs are split into two different types, light karma and dark karma. Light karma jobs and skills are virtuous, exemplary, and at least legal. Dark karma jobs and stats are not those things. They involve shady or illegal things, but they pay more. If you see a choice that involves using one of your dark karma stats, you should know that those will award you dark karma points. However, light karma points are much, much rarer, and they may not involve light karma stats at all. You must truly quest for the most heroic and good choices to earn them. What do light and dark karma points do? Mostly affect the ending of the story, so choose wisely. Here's an example of the kinds of choices you'll find in Hush Hush. Hey, you got heart points. Nice, but remember, you also got dark karma. To find the right people to talk to, check out your map. Any locations you see mean that there's something to do there. That's called an event. Events that are highlighted in gold will advance the time of day, and the ones highlighted in purple will not. So consider doing purple ones first. You will often get invited to events through your phone. Characters will text you and ask you out or tell you where they're hanging out. It's up to you to decide which events to accept or ignore. Just be careful, though. If you accept an invite and don't show, the person you stand up will be mega hurt or insulted, naturally. You'll be able to tell how each of the destined girls are doing by checking out the Contacts tab. Each girl's mood and affection are affected by the heart points you earn while talking to them. If a girl's mood drops too low, she may fall victim to an unfortunate accident. So, make sure to manage your schedule, don't double book any dates at the same time, and pick the best options for every person you speak to. Some girls may want you to be sweet, and some may want you to be sassy. Some may not appreciate you being flirty at all. All in all, you gotta do your best guesses. Try different strategies and have fun. If you have to start from the beginning, that's okay. There are a few different ways to win. Will you try to be more friend than lover? Will you lie, cheat, and steal to win? 
the choices are up to you. In a moment, you'll be shown the map. There's only one event to choose from, so pick it and begin your adventure in Sabrosa. Best of luck! And if you need hints on the best way to learn each of the girls' deepest secrets, visit the location marked Hints on your map. Mystic will help you there. For a price. On with the show! Just not fair! Curse you adorable little flying disc! Turning against me, I shall have my revenge! Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you as I was flailing around, trying to snatch this little beauty from the skies. Ah, oh, how unfortunate. We almost bumped into each other. That could have been awkward and interesting. Ah, oh, just my luck. First I miss a catch, and then I almost miss a catch. Well, don't just stand there looking scrumptious. Say something flirty. <laughs> yes, yes, in a sense. My sister has biceps to die for, and will be positively tickled to hear them described as cannons. Yoo-hoo! Eero! Come over here! This little beach bunny is saying nice things about your physique, and I want to live vicariously through you. Gosh, Eli, you're so lazy today, even for you. I'm not sure you and I have the same idea of what go long means, but it means you need to run. Darling, I'm garbage without a pair of heels, and I can guarantee that I have a much different meaning for the phrase go long. Ah, my favorite part of going to the beach. The part where Eli talks about penises. Speaking of polite conversation, who's this? Eero, my dear sister, this sweet little sour key has mistaken me for the beautiful maiden that I am, which means I have won the bet. The dress looks better on me. I win. Are you serious? We've only been here nine minutes. Oh, the truth hurts, and your tears are like the sweet brine of a victory at sea. Pay up. I want to buy something utterly useless and inappropriate. Stupid, sexy Eli. Wonderbar! All right, I'll be back shortly. The two of you should chat, though. You have so much in common now. <laughs> Ta-ta! Mm. I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Eli already has to help me with my makeup and hair. Now it's going to be my wardrobe, too. Ooh, slid that compliment right in there, eh? Smooth moves. Actually, I had nothing to do with this bikini. Eli works at that super posh boutique in the mall and picked it up for me without an employee discount. This would have cost me a few grand. It's a little revealing for me, but I don't bust my buns in the gym for nothing, I suppose. The name's Eero, by the way. And the magic space princess that ran off with my money is Eli. As you can tell, we've got a thing for rainbows. And don't even get us started on ponies. No, really. We get real awkward real fast. I'd say judging from the lack of tan lines, you're probably from out of town. Done. Stop your looking, because you've found that accomplice. Whew. Sorry, came on a little strong there. I just get really excited when someone says spotter. Well, 
I'm gonna hang ten for a bit. The tide is calling for me. No, seriously, look. Can you see? It's waving. Oh man, I'm so funny. Anyway, nice chatting. Maybe I'll see you around. Hello! I'm back! Actually, I never left. I was spying on you guys from over there. I was hoping you'd make a nice impression on my lovely sister. You see, she is part orangutan and does not know how to socialize. Her friends and I are always trying to help hook her up. Ah, oh, alas, orangutan. And she's such a beauty, too. I wish I had inherited the same butt genes she has. But maybe I'm off the mark here. You've got this look about you. What is this look, even? That's the spirit. Complete and utter admission of your helplessness, followed by putting your full trust into Eli. <gasps> Such wisdom. The trick with Eero is that she's super off the market right now. She's been practically a nun for the last nine months. Her last breakup was ugly. So the only way to spike that football is to take it to the end zone. And by end zone, I mean friend zone. Oh, I just made a little sports analogy. Hero would be so proud of me. But yes, you should be thinking less tight pants and more pajama bottoms. Be a friendly friend. Get to know her while avoiding anything sexual. This honestly sounds like kind of a nightmare, but you can do it. So unless you've got mad game and you can prove me wrong, I would suggest trying to keep your eyes off her redonkulously supple cleavage for a few outings, and she's likely to relax her guard. Think you can handle that? hard back there <laughs> hey what's wrong you two look like you've seen a ghost of a sort my dear more like the icy pail of flesh that hasn't seen the sun in years oh whoops <laughs> well i guess the girls could use a little more tanning people are generally a bit uptight when you surf naked though Right? What a person does in the privacy of their front yard is their business, I always say. Oh dear, I hurt my ears. Naked lawn mowing. I don't need another fetish. Let's hit the road, Eli. That bikini is lost at sea. And I've flashed enough strangers today. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. At least if we get pulled over, the chances of escaping a ticket are hella good right now. <laughs> it was nice chatting with you. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. This isn't over.
You know, darling, I've never thought about why we bake cookies and cook bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. It must be a mistake, though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like the president of words? Ew, sweetie. That's not a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue burst of Beyonce I made. That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. Oh, hello, a customer. How long have you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Cathy. Welcome to my bakery. My name is Bonnie Bell. You let me know if you see anything you like and I'll wrap some up for you. Now that is quite the order. You must have a sweet tooth like a son of a gun. We're here. I'll get them boxed up for you. Are you stocking up your computer? Mine keeps asking me if I accept cookies, but it never gives me any. I wonder if I have to fill it first. Welcome. My name is Elle. It's nice to meet you. Whoops, that's my alarm. I'm late for being early to my book club. Oh. nice. I used to collect pictures of cameras. I would be happy to share. Here, let me text it to you. Oh, and if you feel like talking more later, you can use that number to reach me. <laughs> Take care. All right, sweeties, I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli, so you know they're good for you. Oh, Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart yourself, so I'll give you a hand. Here's a little old tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. I'll give you a few for the road on the house. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm gonna come at you with my wooden spoon. And by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs>
Beg your pardon? Just sneaking by. Thanks, friend. Well then, have a seat. I'm sure you have questions. I mean, please don't ask me for lotto numbers or who wins the World Series in 2024 or anything. Go Giants. In any case, I was expecting you, but I also was really jonesing for a latte, hence the sign. My name is Will, by the way. You can call me Mystic if you prefer. I used to call this little business Where There's a Will, but it didn't really bring in the tourism dollars. So I changed it to Mystic's Mystical Fortune Teller. And things are a lot more lucrative now. No one wants their palm read by Will. Everyone wants it read by a guy in a robe named Mystic. But I digress. We should carry on. You're going to be given your first choice to lead now, so I want to make a good impression. I don't get many chances to work with people on a quest. I thought you might stay. I won't keep you in suspense, I promise. So I round up in Sarosa rather serendipitously. Unlike most of the locals here, I'm what you might call an outsider. My journey here was kick-started by an act of generosity. And when I arrived, I was commanded only be helpful. So now, I do this. I peek behind the curtain, look at the machines running underneath the world. And I can tell you a few things that may lead you to the destination you seek. Oh yes. Those two try to pull me into the game a few times, but luckily, I usually manage to distract them with a charming smile. Here's the point. You're trying to learn secrets, correct? Well, I can set you in the right direction. For a reasonable fee. <laughs> well, yes. I suppose I could have led with that. I'm a fortune teller. You can pay me to tell you the future. It'll help out if you're having trouble finding what you're looking for. The more I do it, the harder it is, and the more expensive it gets. And I'm holding a sale for the next 30 seconds. First reading is free. What do you say? Would you like me to tell you your future? A wise choice, my friend. All right, let's just get into the right headspace. Mio's first secret is no pain in the neck. She'll tell the first soul that's savvy in tech. Then 
And there you go. That, my dear friend, is what we call a hint. A darn good one, too, if I do say so myself. Do you know Mio? Sounds like she's impressed with tech-savvy partners. Should be enough to go on for a sharp adventurer like yourself. All right, good luck. I can only do that once a day, so don't bother trying to double dip. Best of luck on your quest. I hope to see you again. Cheers. Who it is! My cute little beach bum buddy! I'm so glad you're here! I didn't get the chance to give you my and Eero's num nums while we were frolicking on the sands! Hand me your phone! I shall correct this grievous oversight immediately! There! Done! Now you can send Eero all the cute kitty memes your heart desires, and fill my inbox with all the dirty little texts your mind can conjure! Just be super careful not to mix those two up! Can you imagine? Sending me kitty memes! <laughs> I'm practically squeeing my face off just thinking about them! <sighs> now, other than another fantastically fateful meeting with yours truly, what brings you to the mall? Did you run out of gum while you were out kicking ass? Do you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? Yes! At long last! Destiny has called my name, and I shall answer! For what you need, you have come to the right place. You have come to Eli. All right, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. As you can see, you are standing in Cheek Boutique, where all your dreams come true. It also happens to be my throne of power. Here at Cheek Boutique, fashion is our passion ration. And I would love, love, love to make you my lovely little Autobot and help transform you. I'm going to hand you clothes, you're going to take them to the dressing room, and you're going to put them on and start whispering tearful thank yous to your Eli. Okay, chop, chop, chop! Fortune favors the bold, and judging by what you were wearing when you came in here, you're most definitely the bold type. Oh, and don't look at the price tags. Those are merely suggestions, like pants and speed limits. Here you go, here you go. Here you go! All right, you're set! See you shortly!
What the hell, you blurb? You're dead meat. Wowzers, that's quite the bump on the old noggin. She got you good. And my, isn't that just a fun sentence to be able to say? Now you've got an interesting story to tell. Lucky you! You have just had the pleasure of meeting one of Sabrosa's more colorful residents. Her name is Cassie, and she is a firecracker thrown into a burning microwave. She comes in here all the time, tries on all the clothes, usually stuffs the odd thing into her bag, but... Oh, dear Lord, did you see her nails? That girl is a wizard with the filing board. Hee-hee, <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, they say not to dip into the crazy pool, but it's right there. And there's a diving board, and the board's breasts are magnificent. I mean, I would call the police or confront her or something for the shoplifting, but in all honesty, I'm super lazy, and everything she takes looks so good on her. Would you like her number? I've got it here. I snooped through her phone once when she was trying on some lace panties. Beep, boop, beep. There you go. Just a word of the wise. Don't coddle that one. She's got daddy issues written all over her. Don't forget about Eero. I forgot I was trying to hook you up with her. Eero is so sweet and a tiger in bed, I imagine. Whoops, look at the time. I need to take my two-hour lunch. Thanks for dropping in again. See you soon. Bye!